In his book, Unintended Consequences, former Ambassador Peter Galbraith tells how the Bush administration wasted an opportunity to re-engage with Iran and possibly solve a broad range of problems in the Middle East. In May of 2003, Tim Goldman, who was the Swiss ambassador uh, to Tehran, and as such represented the U.S. because we don't have an a embassy there. So he was looking after U.S. interests in Iran. He came uh, to the U.S. with what's known as a non-paper. Uh, this is a document that the Iranians had put forward, but they, they didn't, they didn't, it wasn't identified in this Iranian document, but it's a, it's a, it's a method to, to put out an idea and see if there's any reaction. And basically it was a proposed deal. And the deal was this. The Iranians would uh, uh, allow the most intrusive possible inspection of their nuclear facilities uh, uh, and provide all the necessary guarantees that their nuclear program was purely for peaceful purposes, uh, including, as I said, very intrusive inspection. Second, they would cooperate with us against al-Qaeda. Third, they would uh, suspend their support for uh, he uh, Hezbollah and Hamas for activities within Israel. Uh, and in return, they asked for what? They asked uh, first that we take them off the axis of evil. Uh, second, uh, that we lift uh, economic sanctions. Uh, and third, that we cooperate uh, or with them against the Mujahideeni Kalk, which is an Iranian uh, opposition group that is on the State Department's list of terrorist organizations. It wasn't a perfect deal. I suppose we would prefer that there be no nuclear activity in Iran. Um, it might have been better if the uh, Iranians had said they would also stop supporting Hezbollah and Hamas for activities in the West Bank, uh, which they didn't. But it was a basis for negotiation. It was a starting point. Starting point, and a huge starting point. Well, full of mission accomplished. In May of 2003, uh, the Cheney, Bush-Cheney administration said, hey, we don't negotiate with evil. And they castigated Goldman for even presenting this paper, saying that's not what you were supposed to do as the head of the interest section, uh, as the uh, Swiss ambassador looking out after our interests. You talk about how diplomacy is worth lots of divisions. That would be as in military divisions. Isn't that the kind of example that had we had the, just the common sense to put diplomacy forward as a possibility? And a, and a trace of humility. It, well, it doesn't, frankly, it doesn't require humility. It requires strategy. And, and the, the issue here is to say, what are our alternatives? Well, if we, if we don't try and pursue a diplomatic track in Iran, and, and it's unclear whether, whether it'll work, but it, at least it's an option, and there's some basis, in fact, for thinking it might work. But let's, let's assume that we take the Bush administration position, we don't negotiate with evil. Then what are our alternatives? There's the military option. Now, I believe that we could, with sustained airstrikes, halt Iran's nuclear programs indefinitely. But we would have to be prepared to live with the consequences. One consequence is the Iranians would retaliate against U.S. troops in Iraq, helped by the uh, by their Shiite allies who we've put in power. The government, that, of, the government, the government of Iraq. And, and the Shiite Iraqi army. That's one reason I believe we should get out of Iraq, because well, why have them... A hostage, it's A hostage. Right. They could close the Strait of Hormuz, which is through which a bunch of the world's oil flows, and we'll be sitting talking nostalgically about those happy days in the summer of 2008 when gas only cost four dollars a gallon and of course uh, and when the stock stocks were only at the 8800 level as opposed to whatever they might be after mm -hmm. this happened so that's a that is a doable option and they might well take out Saudi I mean I don't know what yeah. the military capacity but the Saudi oil fields which yeah. would also be you know unfortunate that, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a doable option but very risky very costly so the Bush administration hasn't done it so what has been the Bush administration done? Nothing. It's had tough rhetoric unmatched by any action, and it has been completely ineffective. And that's my point. Our national security strategy, the test of it, has to be effectiveness. And, and, and this administration has been ineffective. Uh, and so clearly some 
some bargain with Iran, if it can be achieved, probably leads us, would lead us better off than where we are now.